920. I'm so tired. Okay, so, oh, hang on. I need, um, like, wrap my bed around my body because I'm cold. <laughs> Ooh, this is better. Um, so, if you're wondering why I look and feel so tired, um, I was at the Ariana Grande concert all night. Yay! <laughs> um, but the good thing was I loved it. The bad thing is I feel like poop today. Oh. Like, I got, because I was out in the cold for half an hour waiting to get my sister a tour jacket. No, a tour jumper, which got sold out halfway through in the line after the concert. We were waiting out there for 30 minutes to get a world tour top for my sister. Because it was her first concert. I mean, your first concert, you always have to get a world tour top. They were sold out. <sighs> no one's just dying. Um, but... <coughs> I feel like poop because we were out in the cold for that long. Oh, but I did get a hat. I got a hat. Let me show you. Because it was the Dangerous Woman tour. Look, hat that says dangerous on it. Ariana Grande, Dangerous Woman Tour 2017. It's not gonna look good in that. <laughs> um, but, oh, uh, I'm hating my nose right now. I can't breathe. I'm hating how I feel right now because I can't breathe through my nose. Like, if you could hear it just a. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep yawning through this video, like, I'm tired, <laughs> but I had to do something. Um, it is Wednesday, but I had to record it today because I fell asleep last night when I got to bed, and like, if you saw the, everything on my floor, you would be thinking I'm such a pig, because before I left... I was like trying to chop and change everything, like my tops, it was my tops. I had this little no shoulder top on and then I changed it to another one and then to another one. And then last night when I got home I wasn't bothered to pack anything up properly so I just threw everything on the floor, even the clothes that I was wearing. Like I just chucked them on the floor with the coat hanger and all that. Like nah, I need sleep. But I didn't even get to sleep till 3am so... I just realised, if I got to sleep to 3am last night, how am I going to get up for VidCon the next day? Because I don't know, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but on the weekend I'm going to VidCon Australia. They're having their first VidCon here. So, it's like a big thing. I'm going with Julian here already now. Um, but... <coughs> oh. Like... I feel like the poop emoji, I'm trying to smile, but I feel like poop inside. <laughs> um, like, cause I had Maccas. Oh my god. Oh, this this is when I started to feel bad. Oh my god. On the way there, we had to get something to eat, cause we didn't get anything during the concert, and after, like, my mouth was like my throat and mouth was so dry that I had to drink a bottle on the way home that my dad has had in the car for three days. I know it's unhealthy for you, but, like, I had to have something to drink and I'm, I'm, like, dying of thirst. So I just, like, scoffed the whole bottle down. And they're only, like, I have it right here. These little bottles. So, that happens, but before... Alright. Here's where it gets juicy. Literally. Okay, so, we get to Macca's. We found a Macca's on the freeway. So we drive in... Dad said he was going to go through the drive through but guess what happened? He decided to go through the inside. So as in, like, go in yourself and order your food. Because he's like, oh, no, nah, if we go through drive through it's going to be too quick. And how am I supposed to drive and eat? There are a million parking spaces in front of that Macca's. Park there and eat your food, and then we can go. It's easier than walking out in... Because it was pouring down rain. 
that night. Because they said it was going to hail. Oh my god, it did. It felt... Oh. So we got there. My dad luckily found a spot in front of the Maccas. So he... And then the shelter's over here. I was in the back seat. I had to get out the car. Almost get my makeup ruined. To get... To buy some greasy ass food. Well. But... When we went in, like, I was starving, so I was, like, ready to order. So, like, I got double, large double cheeseburger meal, uh, chicken nuggets on the side, frozen coke. No, not frozen coke. It's, it was too cold for frozen coke. It was, like, five degrees outside. Like, a normal coke. So, we got our meals and sat down at a table. I open up my wrapper and all I see is the top bun is like wet you know when you like have you ever like this is for like the 90s and 80s kids if you guys have ever put like oil on yourself to get a tan that's what my bun looked like like i only know because i've done it once and my nun knew he always used to do it as a teenager to get a tan and he got a tan somehow <laughs> Like, he, he looked good. He looked good with a tan. Um, but, yeah, once I opened that bun, it was, like, peeling off, like... So, this is, this is the wrapper, and this is the bun. <laughs> like, I can't even handle it. So, I'm looking at it, like... Then there's this one part of the bun... Where the bottom bun is greasy, the butt, the burger, you're gonna expect the burger to be greasy, I mean, seriously. The burger's greasy, but more than it should be. And then the cheese, oh, the cheese looked like it had sweat on it. That's how bad the grease was. And then the bun as well, oh my god. The bun, you know when you like, just say you put bread and water, it like, like you can squish it up and all that. It looked like that. I was ready to throw up, and then I was like, no, I don't want to eat this, and guess what I did, I ate the bun, but I fully, because I have, I always, like, some people will have a way of eating their food, like, if they go to a fast food place, every time I go to, like, Burger King, Macca's, and all that, anytime I have a burger in my meal, with chicken or chips, or even just chips, I have the chips, my drink during it, the chicken, drink during it, and then my burger. And then if I have a dessert, I will have a dessert. But I fully forgot, because I was talking to my mum and dad, like, about tonight, how exciting it's going to be. And surprisingly, this was for my sister, and I was way more excited than her. <laughs> but I was talking about how excited I am, and I, like, that greasy part of the burger just popped out of my mind. Like, it just went... It's just like somebody picked it out, like, boop, throw it away, you don't need this, you're gonna eat it anyway. So when I had the burger, and I wasn't even looking at the greasy part, um, the grease, like, you know, you'll want to see, like, the pretty part of the burger when you first eat it? Yeah, that's what I did. So I was like, mmm, this side looks nice. Um, 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 um. And, like, people have their own special ways of eating their burgers as well, where they will eat around the outside, where they will go... I don't know if this is true, in the middle and out, I go straight down, I do not take any shortcuts. So when I got to the end, I didn't even realise until I ate it and I looked at my hand and it looked so oily, I'm like, what did I just eat, I mean seriously. No, my hair's going back in, I thought my hair would have looked nice. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing a story time right now and getting out of bed, my mom's coming back with a... You guys love your Starbucks in America. Here in Australia, we love our Gloria Jean. And it's like a coffee shop. But we do have Starbucks too. We have it in the city. Um, But I'm in love with Gloria Jean, man. They're a little better than Starbucks. Starbucks has some crappy drinks. Like, Starbucks has famous drinks that you want to have. Like the Unicorn Frappe the secret menu and all that but gloria jean oh my god they taste so good i have 
The one thing I always love to get is the very vanilla chiller with whipped cream. It is so good. Same as the caramel one. Oh my god. But the very vanilla one, I love it just because it tastes like coffee a little bit. Because it, they put two shots of espresso. Which will hopefully make me feel less tired today. Sorry. Uh, I bet all after seeing me yawn, you are all yawning either right now or are gonna yawn. Because I know once you watch somebody yawn, you yawn. I was watching myself, so I'll probably have it later. Um, but that burger. Oh, not good. Alright. Let's get that go into the concert. So me and Mum Brianna were trying to look for a place to park to tell my dad to park. And my dad was like, oh, I can't park anywhere. It's too busy. Because they had a soccer game on, a big soccer game on in the city. And it was right next, because we had to go to the Rod Laver Arena. And, like, that's a big theatre for all music and all that, where it takes up the whole stadium. But... Then the there's a glut like there's one here, there's one here. Well, like this is Rod Lake Arena. There's one back here. Wait, no. There's one over here, and then there's one down here next to Rod Lake Arena. The one next to Rod Lake Arena is Hyacinth Arena, where they will have like ice skate, like all those fancy sports, you know, like ice skating, water polo, and all that. Because my sister goes watch Disney on Ice at the arena, so I look so emo. Guys, like, if I look emo, I rubbed all my makeup off last night, and I had, a, like, dark eyeliner on, okay? I had full black eyeliner on, so that's why I look a little emo. <laughs> um, but, uh, I'm, I'm too cold, okay? Um, but, so, we had to go through three hour of traffic. Luckily, we left at 5.30. Like, we told Dad to come home at 5 and then leave at 5. We were ready at 5. We were ready at 4.49. 4, 4 and then Dad doesn't come home till 5.30. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. And he's like, no, we'll wait until 6 o'clock. And I'm like, I'm on mum's side here. Because she's like, what if there's traffic? Because we didn't even check whether the soccer game was on or not. So, like, we didn't even check the traffic. We got stuck at the start of going into the city. Like, we were going through the whole city like this. And sometimes like this. Oh, God, now we have to wait. <laughs> but, oh, uh, I cannot tell you how boring that was. But I was listening to my music and talking to Julian. Wait, I don't know if I was or not. I probably wasn't. I'm such a bad girlfriend. <laughs> nah, um, he was probably like, this girl better leave me alone. <laughs> I text him all the time, but I miss him. Um, um, what do I say? You guys can do it too. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so we got there finally, and Dad finds a place to park. Not really. And he goes, Alright, as soon as I stop the car, get out. Get out, because then I gotta go. And we're like, What? You gotta do watch TV or something at home? And he's like, no, because the place I'm about to park is a restricted area. I'm like, oh my god. Why couldn't you just drop us in front of Rod Laver Arena at the stoplights or something? And I'm just like, uh. So, the car, me and Brynn are in the back seat, and then mum and dad are in the front seat. Dad, the, you know those things you have when road works on and you have those, like, little, like, not pavement things, but like the plastic ones that keep you from going on that side of the road. My dad goes into a gap and into there. So it's like me, pull my sister out, and then mum gets out slowly. Like she, she's got a heart condition, so she can't like do things very fastly. Does she can run? 
She can run now. She's had her big surgery. She can run now and run up the stairs. So that's what we did. <laughs> we had to get across the bridge. And these people are all passing us instead of going to the Ari concert. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, we're going to be late. Um, and then my mom's like, watch out for Brianna! Oh, that hurt my throat. I'm not going to yell much. Um, but she screamed that out because Brianna was, I realized Brianna was literally halfway across the bridge. So I had to run through the rain to get my sister. And making sure I didn't slip over and fall in the water. And I'm talking about the water, like, Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Um. <coughs> um. So we get to the Ariana Grande concert, and what happens is we were gonna go buy merch for my sister, the world tour ja top I was telling you guys about at the start. We were gonna go get her that. What is it, my dog? Mean? Never mind. Um. But we got there and, um, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying what's it called for the word, what happened. <laughs> so what happened was <sighs> we got there. They had a ticket line for, like, anybody wants to get last tickets, which were, like, bad seats, which were, like, back, 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 bad seats that nobody wanted. And then they had merch outside of the arena even though they had merch inside you need to have around four inside the area and one outside at least one or two outside so that everybody could get something so we see the line and it's like from where they're selling it literally it was about a two hour wait and we got there three hours early ago not three hours ago we got there just now and we realized it was going to start at three eight thirty instead because they were meant to have someone performing but they weren't they weren't able to so they had like i don't know i think zendaya or something to like talk for a little bit literally i, I wasn't even there for that so I don't care. <laughs> but we get inside. We wait to be in the ticket line. And it's... Because they have stairs like that. So it's like from there to going on out into the field. So we get... We finally get to the stand. Um, because of what happened in Manchester. One Love Land Manchester. I hope that recovered definitely. Um... Nobody could bring bags at all. If you did, you had to put it on a hook outside of the theatre where your bag could get wet. Because um, of the bombing in Manchester again, I hope everything went well after that. I hope everyone is being for all, everyone that possibly, I think a couple of people like died or passed in that explosion. Rest in peace to you guys and just love to all your families, definitely. Like that's a big thing. Um, but they had to do that because they didn't want anything to happen to Australia because we never had a bombing, a real bombing in Australia. Like, we've had people fakely bringing bombs onto planes and all that, but we've never had, a like, a real bombing in Melbourne. Like, you would have it in Adelaide and Perth, but never in Melbourne or Queensland or New South Wales because they're not the type of cities you would think to get bombed. Um, so, like, I had this dead jacket and like I got it down there but I don't want to get it because I'm too tired um like you know like you know trendy denim jackets like I got a black one it was like big so it was like the sleeve you could get down to there and all that you had the pocket here yeah it didn't have a body or anything but just no nah, I don't want to show my pajamas <laughs> um but if you open it up like that, there's a pocket there to put stuff in. So I had everything in my pockets there and I had to take it all out. Uh, like why? Why? So I was just killing myself. I had to take my phone out, my charger out, 
my charger cord out. A charger is in portable charger. It's up there. Again, I'm not bothered to get it. I'm really, really tired. Um, and then I had to get my um, well, my purse out because my mum couldn't bring her big purse because she would have to carry her bag in it. So what we did was we carried my coin purse that I carried to school, and it had my mum's credit cards and like a couple of hundred bucks in it. Like you don't know how expensive things are gonna be though. Um, so I had to get that out, my lipstick, if you guys watch my Snapchat, I, I have this nice new lipstick that I bought from MAC after my, um, MAC tutorial for my birthday from my auntie, and it looks so pretty, it's in the bathroom behind me, but again, I'm not bothered to walk out and go get it, um, so... So, like, I had that in there as well, as, I thought I had something else in there. And my earphones, my earphones. So, I had to carry them all out, and then I had to get scans like this. Like, this was a guy doing it. And he was, like, in his mid-20 to 30s. So, I was like, if you take it that finger as close to me as where I can feel it, you're dead. Cause I have a boyfriend, like, I, I, cause like he, cause I look, everybody has said that I look 18 to 20. I mean, how? I'm 15. This one lady thought I was 18, 16 to 18 years of age. Being all like, oh, do you want, um, what's it called? Tips in your hair? Blonde tips? And I'm like, oh yes, that would be nice. And mom goes, oh no, she's 14. And she, the lady's like, you're 14? You look 16. And I'm like, oh, somebody thinks I actually look old. But that makes me feel sad for when I'm like, <laughs> probably like, I don't know, like 30 or something. And somebody might think I'm like 50. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to be looked as a 50 year old at the age of 30. That would be scary. <laughs> Because then, like, when I look 60, I'd probably look 80 or 90, and then I'd be like, no, I'm aging too quick, as in, like, my facial features. But I think it's because of, like, how I act and all that as well. Like, I'm very mature out in public. Like, stuff I wear is very mature. Like, if you see me going to out to lunch and having, like, a little walk around, I would be wearing a sleeveless top. Not sleeveless, but, like, no shoulder top. With some, like, denim pants and a denim jacket. What, like, an 18-year-old would wear. Because none of my friends wear stuff like that. Like, they all wear stussy and all that. But they don't wear, like, no sleeves. Often. So, it's like, I look the oldest out of all of my friends. Surprisingly. Um, but, yes. We get that done. Luckily, he didn't touch me. And, finally, uh, we get in. We were gonna go... Mum was all like, as soon as we got in, alright, first, the merch. We found a merch stand. We thought there was no line because there was a guy standing there um, with an open part of a gate. And then I look and there's just people standing there, one after one, like, doo -doo 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 that goes all the way to our door. And this was from, like, door number one to five. So it was like, well, we'll have to get it during intermission. Well, we thought there was an intermission. So I was like, well, can we get some food? And she's like, oh, no, we got to get there. we got to get our seats and everything. Then we can go get food at intermission. Again, we thought there was an intermission. Um, But we get there, and we are so confused where we have to go. <laughs> we are, Mom gets me, me to walk up. I mean, like... I look physically able to go up the stairs, but I'm too tired to go up the stairs. I was yawning in the car on the way to the concert. So when we got to thing, the lady's like, oh, yeah, all the way up the stairs to your right. And I'm like, okay, to the right, all the way up the stairs. And there were like these two stairs that go that way. There was one that went right and one that went left. I thought she meant like that. So I went up the right one as my sister followed me. And it was like from 
I checked it and I thought it was 151 to um like 153. Um so I checked it and it was like 160 going down. What 160 going up. And I was like looking at the stairs that I should have went up. Oh killing myself right now. And then I check the tickets again. 149. 150. We were meant to go up the 141 to 149. Oh. I was upset at the point. I was upset at that time. So, we finally get up the right st stairs. Mom's still at the bottom. Like, halfway up. I mean, she can come upstairs, but she still can't go, f like, really, really fast like I was. Because I was, like, running up the stairs. Because I had, one, I had sneakers on. Like, added as superstars. And two, like... My mum, like, still isn't physically able to do sporty things. I mean, she's, she can, like, do stuff, but not, like, very, not, not, like, a professional, okay? I mean, doctors aren't miracle workers. Well, they kind of are. They just don't, they aren't able to fix everything. I mean, right? Um, so then we got up there. And I saw how, where we were, we were in double P, section, so door five, double P. We were right up the back, as in like, up, 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 up the back. I feel like, oh my god, I feel so bad for Brianna, we are not going to see her at all or anything. But these were such good seats, surprisingly, they were. What happened was, like, the ones we were on were, like, that steep. Steep like that. The ones I was, because, like, when I was, when I was 12 in grade 6, no, 11 at grade 5, I went to the Justin Bieber Believer concert, and we, like, got similar seats. But they were like that, so we were here. And Justin Bieber looked like a pea, a literal pea, like that small. With Ari, she was like that big in front of my eyes. At least I could have seen details on her costume. Justin Bieber, I didn't even get to see his abs when he took his shirt off. Only on the big screen I could. And plus my phone was better, so I was able to get better photos and all that. So, we get there, and Ariana was amazing, full out. And then halfway through, I check, it's 10 o'clock. I thought it would have at least gone for two hours, a two-hour concert. So I was like, ooh, I hope there's an intermission so I can get a Coke. Or like a frozen Coke or something, at least. Something to, like, fill my, fill my first, at least. Um, so then I'm all like, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember everything. I was all like the mum. Hey, mom, do you know when intermission is on? And she's like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how long it was meant to go for. And then suddenly at 10.30, I got one less, one less problem. No, dang. Yeah, I got one less, one less problem. Walking off. She literally walk off stage. No, she walk. Up the stairs and down. I see the curtain open like this. And then the same for the backup dancers. They go around. And then the music just keeps playing in the dark. And we are like, Ari, 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 Ari. Until two minutes later. Choom. Lights come up. And then the little music that they play at the start, before the concert even starts, is on. And I'm like, is it intermission or... And, like, I waited for a bit. I'm like to mom, hey, let's just wait for five minutes to see what happens. Everybody's gone. Except the people that are down at the front. They're still dancing their ha pants off. They were able to, they were the only ones that were allowed to like go up there and stand and everything because they were VIP and all that. So I was like, mm, this is really the end. 
So then I was like, all right, you know what? Let's go get the merch and we'll just be on our way. So we go out. I see a merch stand right in front of us. I'm like, all right, merch stand, let's go. And then it's closed. Uh, we came all this way for my sister and she didn't even get her... Well, what I mean is, like, we couldn't even get merch inside. My hair looks like a mess. Time to come back on. Um, because, like, not even the food was open. I was ready to get a frozen Coke. But then, um, we go outside. And like I said earlier, a 30-minute wait to get that top. And we didn't even get it. She got a hat and a bag. Like, she got the same hat as me, but they had it in, like, a baby pink color with white writing again so she was like oh i'll just get that in the bag i just realized brianna's at camp today <laughs> brianna if you watch this when you come back i hope you had fun at camp and sovereign hill watch out for those crazy old people because <laughs> like so she's going to sovereign hill for camp and it's like oh uh, Back in the gold rush, because Australian Australia was known for the gold rush days in the Aboriginals. So you at my primary school that Brianna's at, you go there, and then Phillip Island. She went to Phillip Island last year, so now she's dead this year. Ugh. Sorry, I just feel really sick, which I am really. Like, I can't sing. Like, my face is... My voice is stopped and all that. They don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know about us. She didn't even sing any songs from Trolls. For some reason, I was hoping she sing that one. They don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know about us. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I can't sing. I just haven't tried it, that's why. Um, but... That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. While I look like Darth Vader. No, Grim. I don't know. Um, and I will see all of you in the next video. <laughs> okay. I'll see all of you little forever pals in the next video. And I hope you all had a forever lasting day. Bye.